Understanding Latin square designs first requires understanding the premise behind multi-factor analysis of variance. Analysis of variance is a way to analyze gathered quantitative data in a way that can control for various factors while testing for other factors. Latin square designs are a type of three-factor analysis. Latin square designs can be used to control for two factors that may cause variability, called nuisance factors, so that another variable of interest can be tested, the treatment factor. An example of an experiment where a Latin square design may be useful would be testing a surface coating, such as paint, for corrosion prevention. Different types of paint would be the treatment factor, but other factors which would affect the rate of corrosion, but which are not being studied, may be the weather and thickness of coating application. These would be the nuisance factors. The experimenter could control the subsurface material for the test, for example, using the same steel for each test, but the surface coating would most likely be exposed to different types of weather, whether it is located on the coast or farther inland, and one operator may apply the coating differently than another. This table shows one possible Latin square design that could result from this experiment. Factors one and two would represent the nuisance factors, so 1 through 4 might represent the different weather conditions the material is being exposed to, and A through D might represent different thicknesses of application of the coating being tested. The colors in the table would represent the treatment factor, which is the type of surface coating being tested. As you can see by the table, there is one treatment factor for each nuisance factor. This information is then applied to an analysis of variance table to further analyze the data. An analysis of variance, or ANOVA table, serves to compare data collected from an experiment. The ANOVA table format includes the degree of freedom, the sum of squares, the mean square, and the F ratio. The value of the F ratio provides evidence confirming or rejecting the null hypothesis. If the null hypothesis is true, the row and column means and the total mean should all be close in value, which means the mean square value should be a fairly small number. Furthermore, if the null hypothesis is true, the mean square of the treatment and the mean square of the error should not be different. But if the null hypothesis is false, then the mean square for whichever nuisance factor is causing an effect will be greater than the mean square of the error. This is a completed ANOVA table for the experiment described earlier using the given values. As you can see, the mean square of the rows is the only one higher than the mean square error, which indicates that one row is skewing the data. It then follows that the F statistic for the rows being larger than one shows that there is a considerable amount of variation, way more than could occur by chance. This is an indication that the null hypothesis should be rejected.